Hey, how's it going? It's Joseph, owner and uh, creator of the Mosquito Creek Lumber Company, Owen 30 Swamp Blog and Railroad. And it's pretty swampy out here today at the cabin. Uh, pretty hot and humid, but on the screen porch, it's not too bad, you know? We can drink a little coffee and uh, enjoy the summer months. Now, if you count the last video we did, it was on LED ribbon lights for your layout. Uh, pretty inexpensive and very efficient way of lighting at least the Mosquito Creek Lumber Company layout. Um, enjoying that, and I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching it if you did. Appreciate that. Thanks for uh, giving us a thumbs up, and thank you as well for liking and subscribing. Always getting some new subscribers coming in, and man, we're appreciating that. Falshawa. Anyway, I thought, well, you know, I've got some special effects lighting going on with the LEDs with the multiple colors and things. Also have uh, some special effects for the uh, lightning bugs that are there and deep in the swamp. And I'll tell you about that at some other time. It's kind of involved. Uh, but I uh, thought, well, we need a little bit more special effects there in the haunted swamp. And what would be better than maybe some lightning and thunder? Hmm. Well, a couple of you have suggested that would be a pretty good effect. So I did some uh, researching and some shopping and I uh, looked around and lo and behold, I found some pretty cool things that weren't very expensive at all. And I'm going to show you how I do my lightning and thunder. It's not high tech, but uh, it gets the job done for my little Mosquito Creek Lumber Company Owen 30 layout. So I'm going to finish my coffee. I'll meet you back in the train room. How's that sound? Good. All right, I got a package that I've been waiting for for this special effects for the lightning from Evans Designs. They're up in Colorado. Let's see what I got in here. Ooh, okay, good. Well, that's well, these two things are for another project that I will share with you guys at a later time. This is what I've been wanting, the uh, Evans Designs lightning circuit. And it's pretty cool. It's got two small LEDs, white LEDs, and then a control module, and then red and black leads to go to your power source. So we'll hook those up. The lights go into the layout, above the layout. And I also, to go with this, also picked up a very small, old-school MP3 player. And this is one of those teeny little guys. Uh, you can mount it. Well, I'll mount it on the fascia. It has a input for speakers or the headphones. So I'm making speakers out of an old set of headphones. And then to download your sound files, just use this USB connection right into the MP3 player. Hook it up to your computer and download your sound files onto the player. And then you're ready to go. You can disconnect that. You can add uh, power or what have you. So uh, you'll have to add some sort of a power. And you can have a micro SD card in there too for larger files. And then all you have to do is hit the on button and play your sound file for the lightning. I'll do it old school style. So looks like we got most of what we need. So let's get started. So I've taken the lightning circuit out of the package and I'm going to hook it up to my power source that I use for all my, my layout lighting. It's a uh, two amp regulated power supply and I can adjust the uh, power output there. And so I've got some alligator clips and some test wires uh, in place. So I'm going to uh, attach the black wire and the, to the black and the red wire to the red clip those in so they're looking pretty good i've taped down the ends where the leds are 
And let's turn it on and see what we get. Oop, there's one flashing. Neat. They're not going to be all the same. They're going to flash at different rates and at different times and different intensities, just like regular lightning would. Well, I think that's going to be awesome. I tried to get these to light on a lower voltage, and they weren't powering it enough. So looks like seven and a half volts is where it needs to be. Click that back in for this to power these lightning LEDs in the circuit. So excited about that. Can't wait to get it up inside the uh, valance in the layout and see how that looks. That's cool. Alrighty, now we have uh, installed the lightning and the switch to activate it. Like I said, very low tech. That's the switch right here to activate it. This is will be the home to the thunder sound effects. So boom, boom, and it's on. This is our regular sound effects for the swamp, and this is a off on switch to uh, isolate this whole top layout from the bottom layout okay so with that said let's uh let's test the uh, lights and see see how they work first i got to turn on the uh, power supply we'll do that and get right back all right here we go i got the lights off and kind of uh see some of the fireflies in the background there they're kind of doing their little thing and ooh, the ghost is in the, the mansion ooh pretty spooky that probably means there's a storm a brewing so uh, why don't i come down here let's hit the switch for the lightning effects and let's see how that looks ooh pretty spooky I like that. The way it looks against the backdrop kind of looks like uh, when you get in the cloud lightning or it's far off and it's just lighting up all the clouds. So pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Now it's time to get some sound effects to go with the lightning.